Yo guys, uh, we are in Lamu, Lamu County. Say hi to my guys. Hi, hi, hi. welcome. Yeah, so uh, we are going to take some strolls around uh, the city. He's going to show us everything we need to see and uh, experience here in Lamu. So, what are we going to see today? Okay. Kisha kuna na mtaa wao ambao ni town yao ambao hiyo town ilikuwa ni nyuma ya huu mjengo tunaoona hapa mbele yetu. Na hapa tunapotembea before ilikuwa ni sehemu maji ya bahari ilifika paka kwenye huu mjengo hapa. Kwa hivyo tarajia kwa huu mjengo hapa. Kipindi hiko bahari ilikuwa ikifika paka sehemu ya kwa hii kwa hii staircase stairs za hii nyumba. Hayo kwa mji ulikuwa huko nyuma ya huu Yai nyumba ya museum ikitumika kama nyumba ya falme yani kipindi hiko ndio ilikuwa kiki nyumba kama hiyo na hiyo yote ilikuwa ni sehemu ya bahari before sisi kufika tumeona kuna manyumba kuna hivi lakini ile history inatuonesha kwamba hizi sehemu zote za mbele ilikuwa ni sehemu ni maji ya bahari ilikuwa ni kama ni kama ufuo wa bahari kama beach okay ni mambo yalibadilika na ikawa sasa tukipatikana plot na watu wakaanza wakaweza kujenga wenyewe okay. hizo ambazo zimejengwa kipindi hiki cha nyuma ni karibu miaka 800 ama miaka 1000 hizi hizo ambazo ziko mbele ya bahari bila ile jengo lakini ile jengo lenyewe liko na umri wa miaka karne kama 1800 uh -huh. ama 2000 okay na, na hapa liko ni sehemu hii ground liko ni sehemu watumwa watumwa slaves Kiswahili yani kizungu tunaweza kusema ni maslave mm -hmm. ambao walikuwa ndio mm -hmm. wakinadiwa hapa wakiuzwa mm -hmm. wakisafirishwa wakienda nchi zingine mm -hmm. ili kwenda kuweza kufanya kazi mm -hmm. wakinuliwa na wafalme yani kama biashara tu hivi tunaona kama kama askari na ma, na, na michele vile kinunuliwa mm -hmm. lakini ukiwa kama ni mtumishi wa mtu ambaye alikununua mm -hmm. na wakibeba na maboti makubwa makubwa kama dizini ndio boti ilitumika before ndege bado magari bado watu wakiweza kutumia bomu kwa kwa slave na kupeleka nchi za nje nchi za kiara pia ground ilitumika kama kwa kubwa la mnada kama slave kutoka hapa sasa tunaenda kwenye mchao mji mji ambao ulikuwa wakiishi hawa binadamu wa miaka hiyo tunaosema tunapanda stairs tunaingia kwa hiyo upande wa huu mjengo ambao upande wa huu mjengo wa kwanza ambao ni msikiti huu tunaoona huu msikiti uko na karibu miaka 800 au 900 tuseme ndio msikiti wa kwanza wa lamu tena ulijengwa ya huyu hapa You see this guys so this this used to be a mosque so uh, apparently it's like uh, 800 years old yeah is the arabic 
Yeah, this is the Arabic inscription here. The history of yeah. In, uh, Arabic language. Okay. So uh, we just had this was uh, one of the earliest and uh, the oldest mosques. Na wale jenga ni wale wavuvi kipindi hiko hakuna government hakuna nini. So wale wavuvi mbali kwa Uislamu waliona hapa karibu na hii beach na wao ni bandari yao wanaweka maboti yao wakaona fedha tujenge msikiti wa majambi ulianza msikiti wa majambi yani waka ujenga ikawa wenyewe wakitoka baharini wana pray hapa wakaendelea wakaendelea sasa ulimwengu ulipoanza kupambazuka ukawahi kujengwa kizamani pia miaka hiyo tuseme pia sasa hivi pia umeanza kuchoka yani una karibu miaka 1600 sasa umeanza kuchoka bila msikiti ndio unataka kutoa repair ya kwanza wavuvi wenyewe walipokuwa wakijalamu kuuza mali yao wakati wa hao wa maana hiyo msikiti ule ulijengwa baada ya slave wa wauzi tena sasa eh, kila mtu amepata free yani wafalme wako lakini mambo ya kuuza uzo watu iliisha ilikuwa pia ile dini sasa imeanza okay kwa <coughs> huko eleweka kwamba kuna dini kuuza binadamu ni madhambi ni makosa na nini ndio okay. ukajengwa huu msikiti wa majambi na hapo sasa waislamu watu wote wakawa kitu kimoja kwa hakuna slave hakuna okay. mtumwa watu wote ni Okay. okay, so you had guys the mosque was built by fishermen who used to uh, dock here near the, the, the sea. So yeah, they thought they should just uh, build a mosque. That was after the slave trade abolition, yeah. Yeah, so we are still taking some strolls. Still taking some strolls here in Lamo. So this is the main town, yeah. UNESCO. UNESCO. Oh yeah, UNESCO heritage. Hii kazi na ndio kuja sasa hii ikabidi sasa waanze kuweka funda kama vitumwa vitaisha jo tumwa tuone kubeba vitu vilivyo Yeah yeah guys you can see even the donkeys here tumie donkey kuweka transport vitu kupeleka sehemu zingine bila donkey hakuna kitu anaweza kufanya ndio Like a tunnel, yeah? And it's very cold, inside here it's cold. Very cool, basically. Yeah, so this is a very, very old uh, building. It's a Jew. It's a Jew that's going to be a bar of a Thomas Slew. What you use, what it's going to be a Jew. What you want to skip. Wafano wamekuja kuvamiwa nyumba hii wana skip nyumba hii ya pili wana toka na mlango wa chini huko na wana kilia so basically this uh, you, you used to serve as a uh, escape route also so people will escape from one building to the other uh during the slave trade to avoid being captured by the slave traders yeah so this is a very old building that carries a lot of history yeah okay ndiyo <laughs> So ndo nakuta ta tourist wanapenda kuja kutembea kuona zile kuliko town yenyewe. Alafu utaona town more quiet 
Yaani mji hakuna hata watu kwa barabara sehemu zingine. Utaona kama hakuna watu ambao wanaishi. Lakini all all most of the houses kuna watu ndani, mm-hmm. kuna magadi ndani ya manyumba, kuna swimming pool. Sio kiona hivi si kwa maana maanisha hakuna watu kwa manyumba. Okay. Sema ni baada ya vile zilivyojengwa ndani zimejengwa na magumu na mimi anga milia ile kuta baada kila aina style. Sasa mm-hmm. mtu anapokuwa ndani ya nyumba na kuona kama hakuna mtu. Okay. Na jengo lenyewe vile ndani ndani lilivyojengwa limejengwa yani kihistori yani kizamani. Watu yeah. wakibike ya wasibamiwe, wasibujue nyumba Kipindiko watu wakionishana mababu, yani maskini hana mm. sauti mm. Maskini nedeka shiko maliote katua kama na kena kapunye ujashara Sio mm-hmm. wakibika nyumba strong Ili wakibika kuhuji za biti wakibika ndani mm-hmm. Hata ikitokea kutokea kama ni ambush hile watakuwa mimu wa nini Iwa wanaweza kuchukeji mm. Ndo hizi nyumba zimejengu wa kistrong Yani nyumba bili kwa moja Kutangalo ukuta wake karibu futi salasini ukuta upana wa ukuta mm-hmm. Amo ukuta stini Kwa mm. hivyo kwa 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 Okay. So this is the messenger's house for the governor. This is another car. Yeah, donkey. Car is uh, a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. So, this is the Balabala town center. Mm-hmm. Beach. Mm-hmm. This, this, this looks very old, eh? It should be one of the earliest houses. Super staircase up there. People cook here. Yeah, yeah the wall is very sure old as well. Uh-huh. I like this this white this is white cement. Yeah, uh, I like this. Yeah. Beautiful carving. Hand hand carved. Uh-huh. Okay, so the Germans bought this. Uh-huh. This is supposed to be a, like a, a slab where you sit, you relax yeah, outside the house and then... Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Must be very old. Mm. This is a mosque, yeah? Uh, look at this. Very beautiful. This is a Chinese house. Oh, it's owned by a Chinese? Yeah, someone from Chinese. Big boss. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 All the piece of house. Uh-huh. I renovated it. Yeah, so this this apparently belongs to a Chinese who deals in uh, 
lobsters and uh, exports lobsters from Lamu. So this is uh, his house and this belongs to a Frenchman as well. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Uh -huh. Lamu one way gallery. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, even the door. Beautiful carvings, handmade carvings. And this is typical of Lamu and Zanzibar. You'll find this kind of doors, which I find them very, very uh, attractive and beautiful. Yeah. yeah, so this is a mosque. This is a mosque. Yeah, it's Friday today. Uh, you can hear the call to to prayer. Yeah, I you know this mosque, I've seen it before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you are how, how long have you lived in Lamu? Me? Yeah. Yeah, you're 38. Uh -huh. For more than 80, 70. Uh -huh. So you, you're born here, you're raised yeah. here, your yeah. family here. Okay. 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 I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this is where we started. So this is the the town square. This is where all events take place. Yeah. Uh huh. Mgoni Square is a museum property protected under national museums and heritage acts. No person is allowed to use this area for vending or meetings without the permissions of the architect. Yeah, so this is the town square where all 
uh, government events and uh, community events takes place. Yeah. yeah, we continue with our journey. This is like uh, the uptown, the main street, as they call it. And you see these steps. What are these steps for? These steps. Yeah, but, but I was told that I was told that uh, you're supposed to climb uh, here when when uh, you have like uh -huh. and when the like the pond the cat comes, yeah, you're supposed to to give way. Yeah, yeah, so you, yeah. you jump here, you give way. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, so the streets are very tiny. You, yeah, they, they built these uh, spaces. So you jump on that slab there to give way. Yeah, to give way to uh, donkeys carrying luggages. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have people selling stuff here. Good shop. Okay. What my friend is saying is that this place is very busy and uh, hectic because everyone comes down here to buy stuff and then they go back to their uh, homes. Yeah, where where we were a couple of uh, minutes ago. That's why that space is very quiet and cool. You might think that people don't live there, though, but people are actually indoors. Eh, kuna kubwa. Ah, mpatiyo kubwa. Very okay. Maybe Missouri. I bought some tamarind juice for this old guy here. Really good. Yeah, because they pack it in these recycled water bottles, but it's still good. Check book is roaming freely. I think it's uh, their off day today, it's Friday, so they're off duty, off duty donkeys. Remember my church, you am so much church. I'm a good Yarabu Moja number one. Really? 
Maembe kidogo nini? Haina nomu. Mango is very sweet. I thought it would be bitter, but it's not. This guy just gave me this food here. Really nice. Guys, we are still continuing with our trip. Yeah, 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 we are in Riyadh Mosque, one of the oldest uh, mosques here in, uh, in Lamu. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Tell us about this mosque. Eh. Nahinda <laughs> kusherekea maulidi kwa mzee huyu ambaye ameondoka lakini alioanzisha mambo kama haya ni yeye na hadi leo hii watu wanaendelea kutumia utaratibu wake ambao alioleta hapa lamu hadi na wenye lamu na wao wameweza kuendeleza ile miradi yake alioisha hii so the person the, that old man who used to live here is the one that gave this land for the mosque alipewa na wenye kijiji kwa vile alikuwa anataka kujambo la msingi na iko msemu ni msitu wa msemu wa huko na kiangaliwa ni kitu ya watu wa waislamu wote wanajua kwamba msikiti ni kitu very important kwa maisha ya waislamu kwa sababu uwezi wao bila kwenda msikitini hadi hadi ukifa pia paka uweze uende msikitini kwa hivyo watu wakawahi kumpa gift lot na sasa nyingi za kidunia ambazo zinamwambia rohoni lakini mzee alikuwa ni mcha Mungu na alizidika kwa umaskini wake na fursa ya nguo ambayo alikuwa akitumia mzee tunavoelezewa ilikuwa ngine imetoa viraka 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 lakini kazi zake zina viraka lakini ni mtu ambaye nuru aliyokuwa nayo mpaka sasa hii nuru yake inangara ikiwa tayari amekufa na miaka 100 na 60 lakini nuru yake maneno yake utaja kwake mpaka dakika hii watu wanamkumbuka kwamba alikuja mtu kutoka Morogoro akitoa hadithi sare na alileta neema na namjiu alamu na dini sasa hii unapata mashiko wengi ambao wa kusema mbali mbali Tanzania, Sudan, Sudan, Sudan. Yaani aina ya ustadi yoyote anayemiliki dini ya Kiislamu anaye baya anasomesha ama baya anaswalisha wote chanzo cha wao kujua dini wameanzia hapa Masjid Al-Rab kwa mzee Habibi Sale. Lovely donkey here. Very friendly. Yeah. 
This is the mosque. Yeah, You can shoot inside. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so this is just uh, an Arabic school. Uh, they just teach uh, English or oh, English school. Yeah, and Arabic. And Arabic. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, guys, this this is uh, this is the tomb for the person who built this mosque the person who was uh, spearheaded the building of the mosque here. You can see it's a very big mosque and it has a school as well. So, yeah, this is where the, the guy was buried. It's in Arabic. So, it's a good fitting for someone like, uh, like him, yeah? Okay. Okay guys, so we've seen uh, that uh, we have a lot of mosques here in Lam and they all have some kind of history dating back to more than 500 years. And uh, it shows uh, the, the Arabic and uh, Islamic influence here in Lam that dates back, way back, uh, like a century or, or more. Yeah, so tell me what you think about uh, this place as we continue to explore Alamo like you've never seen before. Right. Yeah, so where are we going next? Just you are now Shia. Shia. Shia Muslims. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. 
There's a difference between the Shia and the Sunnis. Yeah, we are the seafront now. We met some angry locals who didn't want to be filmed, so we had to cut short the, the film. But uh, yeah, we are the seafront now, and uh, uh, we are going to take a walk all the way down to uh, Lamu Museum, I think. Yeah, yeah. the stretch. Mm -hmm. So everyone fishes here? Uh, in the fisherman boat is it. Uh-huh. Uh, so the are in Mira, so this is the in the beginning of Mira, the Malia and the Nabarin. I ended in a guy, Oregon and Delhi, the Aoburu, the Nabaka Mifungwa, because it made boats. Okay. I'm going to go to the border state. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Okay. Ah. For tourists. The airport is uh, on that side, yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah. Ah. Okay. Yes. Mm. I don't forget Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go to the 
Okay, we are back to where we started this tour. This is the Lamu Jet. This is uh, Huduma, Huduma Center Lamu. And that's the Venjeti. Yeah, we're back guys from where we started. Welcome to Lamu. So this is where we wrap up our tour for today. Thanks to my good friend here uh, for tagging along all this while. Yeah, so goodbye guys. Hope you enjoy this uh, video. Thank you. Go. So guys, I just finished my Lamu tour. Just left my friend uh, back there. I'm walking to my hotel right now. I tried as much as possible to cover everything. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a comment, a like and uh, subscribe. And uh, tell me what you think about Lamu and uh, where you want to see me go next. So yeah, thank you and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye. Zipanga, umkatanani. Ah.